Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gunnar Deathridge. I'm a DIY creator here on Tik... This is not TikTok. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gunnar Deathridge. As you know, I'm a DIY designer. I'm a creator. I like to take on weird challenges. Let's also take a moment and say thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. You guys are keeping the lights on in the studio, so we appreciate that. And today I am back on my bullshit officially. It is spooky season and I am going in hard today. We are going to be doing something that I love to do, and that is challenging myself to make a garment out of things that you usually would not make a garment out of. So I'm going to go to the Dollar Tree. I am going to make this a spooky season dress. In my head, I would like for this dress to be like one of those vintage 1950s Halloween witch ads. That's kind of the inspiration for this, and that's where I would like for this to go, which means that I am going to have to like raid the Halloween section. Uh, there's a good chance I could fail. I hate this. There's a good chance I can always fail. It's a little bit of a disaster, so we all make mistakes, right? Before we hop into this video, make sure that you like, subscribe, hit that little bell notification. I want you guys to see all of my videos when they come out. I am way too overdressed to be in this Dollar Tree right now. So the Dollar Tree had like very slim picking with Halloween supplies. I think I spent like two hours in this place like searching for something to use. These streamers are definitely going to be amazing because I can create like my own fabric with them and like weave them and like twist them. Like there's a million things you can do with paper streamers. It's like definitely the answer right now. I also bought these like ladybug skirts that have this netting on them and I think that they're going to be good filler for me. And I ended up finding these black satin pillowcases. I hope that this is gonna be enough to make something happen. Okay, I think I did well. I feel like I made good choices. Got things I feel proud of. So I got back to the studio. I started getting my supplies out. And I started off by creating my pattern, which is like always my first step. And I'm gonna make the bodice out of the satin. I love this little sweetheart neckline. I want like a little illusion netting at the top of it. And so I started out creating this pattern and then I could cut out all of my fabrics. After cutting, then I could start stitching the bodice together. I did press all of this flat and beautiful, but let me tell you what, this plastic feels like this plastic. <laughs> I think I said this plastic, this fabric feels like plastic. It is really not, not good fabric. Update, this fabric blows, don't work with it. Nothing about, it is easy. I mean, it's like, it's literally plastic, like, Tension from one place pulls to another. Starting to wonder if this was a mistake. <laughs> I'm such a perfectionist. I just like things to look a certain way. And I'm like, is that gonna be possible with this? I see a lot of hand sewing in my future. It is my least favorite kind of fabric to work with. It doesn't sew very well. It doesn't press very well. And it just smells like chemicals, which is like never the vibe. Then I started working on the skirt. So I have this other pillowcase, but I'm like, can this be a skirt? Like if I cut it open, like obviously I'm gonna add on to it. I like it as a base, but like, is it enough? It's not a lot of drama. So the skirt's gonna be this like very full gathered 1950s kind of like, hourglass figure dress. I spent like three or four hours braiding all of these streamers. Well, I guess I'm gonna be doing this for literally hours. I just think that the twist is gonna be really elegant. And then I started to create this kind of like loop pattern on it. <laughs> I just wanted it to kind of feel like a wrought iron gate, like very spooky and like kind of creepy and maybe it would look like a large scale lace at some point. I had planned on adding these like leaves and like little like gold flecks and like all of this stuff. And then I looked at it on the dress form. I hate the skirt. I can't live with it. I'm gonna have to go to a different Dollar Tree and find different materials because this is not gonna work for me. Why do I choose to put myself through random things like this? This video, I've changed my clothes like 30 times in it. People are gonna be like, how many days was this? I'm gonna be like, it was really only a day and a half. But I've literally changed my, I think I've changed my outfit like three or four times in this video already. Went back to the Dollar Tree, went to a different Dollar Tree. This Dollar Tree looks shady as <laughs> This one's a little dark, but I did find some really good little beads. Now I just need to find some more of those black satin pillowcases. That's like the key to this dress. Okay, I feel good. I feel confident. I think I'm gonna make it like really glam now. Like that's the way to go. I was going for a very spooky. Spooky spooky! Which, but I 
think it needs to be glam because of like what I brought. Okay, I'm fresh out the Dollar Tree. I'm about to head home, but before we do, I am gonna take a second to talk about Skillshare. Skillshare offers thousands of classes for creative and curious people, people that wanna take their skill sets to the next level, people that are like new to a craft. They have classes like illustration, design, photography, uh, video freelancing, like literally you name it, they probably have something. I'm actually a huge fan of the graphic design basics with Ellen Lupton. This class was very easy for me to take. I need easy because I'm not a computer person. I'm a hands-on kind of guy, if you know what I mean. One thing I love is that most classes are under 60 minutes, so like I don't have a lot of time. I know y'all don't have a lot of time, so you can definitely get bang for your buck on a class. I also feel like I absorb more when it's like under a 60 minutes, which is amazing. The first thousand people to use my link in the description below get a free month. When was the last time you got a free month of anything? Do you know how much you can learn in a month? That's a wild amount of things. Back in the studio, gotta fix whatever the f this was supposed to be. I just think that the twist is gonna be really elegant. This looks really bad. I would have definitely been voted off Project Runway for that. The top looks super cute, but the bottom is a little bit of a disaster. So we all make mistakes, right? Okay, so now that I'm working on the skirt, I just kind of laid everything out flat and then I just started breaking apart the little balls that I was going to glue on. They are little styrofoam balls. And so I'm a little afraid that the heat's gonna melt them, but like, I mean, yellow, like what are we gonna do? At this point, it's like gotta be better than what I did recently. So I'm just gonna hit the ground running with it. I think they're gonna look like very Versace and Dolce Gabbana. Like I think it's going to be super, like super chic. And I'm like liking it now. This is such a better route than what I was gonna do before. Okay, so I'm basically done. I just have to sew the skirt to the bodice. I'm holding everything in my hand right now and I'm ready to be done. It's like almost midnight. I love this dress. I think it is so, so on par with what the inspiration was. It feels very gunner. I also added a little witch hat to it because I just think it's so cute. I mean, like if we're gonna take it fantasy, like let's go full fantasy with it. And so that's exactly what we did. I'm really excited about it. I hope that you guys love watching it come together. I have a lot planned for the spooky season, so please like and subscribe. I want you guys to see what's happening this month. Lots of cool things. Drop a comment below. Until next time, bye guys. I don't even know where my clothes are right now. I've worn this shirt for like three days in a row. I just keep adding perfume to it in hopes that I don't smell like a beast. I smell very patchouli. Like, does she shop in the Whole Foods aisle or does she work at a Renaissance fair? Who knows? <laughs> okay, I'm getting off of this thing. I'm making a fool of myself.